that was a pretty good first episode. Mm-hmm. I think we might have to have ourselves a very good season. Hey, everybody. It's Matthew with Matthew's Rants, Raves, and Reviews. Thank you so much for joining me again. We are back. I told you I'd be here <laughs> with you each and every Friday night after RuPaul's Drag Race, season nine. Uh, I'll give you a good old recap, a rant, and a review over the episode. And, honey, I got a lot to say. So, pull up your chair, get your popcorn, Sprite if you feel a little soda, a little tea if you feel a little nepti, you know, Nestle, 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 Nestle teas or Nestle tea? We're going to go with that. But, pull yourselves up and we're going to talk about it. Now, sorry I'm waving this around, but yes, I went and got the new iPhone today. Uh, quick, funny story just to tell you guys right now. I'm talking to you, <laughs> um, I ended up having to go to the dentist today, and he told me that my um, wisdom teeth were coming in, I was in so much pain last night, so I have to get them taken out, and I'm not really looking forward to that, it's, you know, first time dealing with that, I know people who have de dealt with it before, and they were like, oh my god, so painful, I'm like, thanks for helping me through the process, but um, I'll be getting that taken care of in the next two, two, three days here, and um I ended up having to stop and get the phone first. So imagine me sitting there trying to get this phone with my mouth full of pain, like totally just like, mm -hmm, nope, mm, I'm just going through it <laughs> just so I can get a phone. So that just shows you how crazy of a person I can be sometimes. I will go through the pain to get what I want, okay? Now, okay, we have lots to talk about, and I had to put this all on my phone here. And we're going to go over the highlights over tonight's episode, episode one of the new season. Now, before we go any further, this will be a spoiler alert. A spoiler alert. Okay, so I don't want anyone saying, Matthew, you ruined this for me. No, this is if you've seen the show and you want to talk about the show or listen to someone talk about it. You know, you come here, and then basically we go over the show together, right? You get in the comment section, we can have a chit-chat about it. It's an everybody is welcome type of atmosphere. Just don't come with the bullshit or the fuckery, okay? Because we don't do drama on this nice little channel, all right? We do nothing but fun and good constructive criticism, okay? Now, I already went over the first 20 minutes with you guys. I want to keep this short because, again, the painkillers are kicking in, and I'm just trying to make it through here without this part of my face totally hurting like crazy now of course lady gaga episode the girls walked in i went over this the last um episode if you guys want to check it out go to my channel and uh, click on the last video i went over the first 20 minute intros everybody came in looking their best most mostly everybody came in looking their best um and then Lady Gaga revealed herself. It was a very touching moment between the queens. And Eureka explained, you know, how she was close to death. And she, um, Lady Gaga was there to bring her out of that darkness. And Lady Gaga herself was explaining, you know, I'm a drag queen too, honey. This is what I do. This is how I made it. You know what I mean? So it was really nice to see that. And, you know, Lady Gaga, thank you for uh, coming to Drag Race. I, en I enjoyed her presence on the show um, tonight. Now, also, she was a really good fucking judge. Really good judge. She gave very detailed critiques and very, very detailed. Oh, I loved it. I was like, okay, she needs to come back. Can we have her like on the second to last episode or something? Because she needs to come back. Everything with her was so calculated and precise. It was great. Oh, I loved it. Um, okay, let me get this going. So the challenge basically is it's a, it's a pageant and it's the charisma, uniqueness, nerve and talent pageant. I mean, duh, of course it would be that, right? <laughs> So, the first uh, part of the challenge, I was like, what the hell? No, sorry, I saw something. Uh, the first, uh, it's like two run like, Where are my words? Okay, bring it back, bring it back, bring it, bring it, bring it back. The first one my look needs to be home city. Mm -mm. The first one my look is hometown. So basically they need to represent where they came from through an outfit. Okay, great, cool. All right, second runway look has to be a Lady Gaga inspired look. Now that is where the girls brought their game on. It was, it was game on with that one. Now let's go down the line of the looks that were presented because this episode, you guys, okay, I see this is gonna be a season that is going to be a lot more episodes than we've gotten previously. I have this feeling, okay? 
because there's a lot of queens on there and this episode didn't really you should get to showcase anybody's anything as far as personality. Little tidbits here and there, catty little comments, this and that and the other, but more so, I'm going to win, I'm going to be the best type of stuff, right? Okay, so... Down the line, we'll get into more detailed, possible cat fights, possible endearing stories, all that stuff. So you have to hang on here because that's what I noticed with this episode. I said, this is more so about what they can bring versus who they are. Now, when you're going to go down the runway looks, I'm going to give just one word answers, but possibly two. Just light descriptions. If I really want to talk about it, I'm going to talk about it. But here we go. Okay. Now. Let's go into Home City. Now, okay. It's like the New York girls did um, Lady Liberty. Where really, it was just Peppermint and Audra that did it. Don't put the other girls on there, Matthew. But they both did that. But Peppermint's version of it was different than, say, Audra's. Audra was more of a literal sense with everything being all green and uh, the hair and, you know, the cape. Whereas... You know, Peppermint's was more of like a bathing suit, like almost like she won Miss New York City. You know what I mean? And she had the whole look together for that, but still gave you Liber- Lady Liberty. Peppermint's look was better than Aja's look, but I didn't, I was like, dang, I wish Aja had did something a little bit different based on stuff I've seen on Instagram. But again, I don't know, this was filmed how long ago and blah, 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 exactly. So continuing on, I had to put those two together because I was like, they wore the same look. <laughs> Um, the second one was, uh, Valentina. Valentina did, like, this matador look that was really, um, really good. I liked it. Very sexy, very, very Valentina. You know how she comes in and it's, ah, da, da. it's very polished, present, and precious. This is what I give her, those three Ps right there. <laughs> I like Valentina, but I want to see more of her. I want to get to know her a little bit more. Um, Eureka gave you redneck trailer trash realness. Now, I know everybody from Tennessee ain't like that, baby, but when I said, oh, okay, she gave you a full character, scumbung, I was like, all right, I like that. So we're going to go with that. And I think Eureka put her ass into that look. She said, I'm going to beat Trinity. <laughs> okay. She clearly said, I'm going to get you this time, girl. This You've gotten me all these other pageants, honey, but... I'm going to get you on this season. So we will see how that plays out because I promise you it's going to be some words exchanged if I'm thinking, yeah, they're going to have to get into it. I just see Eureka and Trinity getting into it. And if they don't, I'm not going to be disappointed, but I feel it's leading up to that almost like Trinity's going to ask her, why do you have some beef with me, girl? Or something like that's going to happen. I don't know. We'll see. I'm I'm just assumed. Basically, I was looking at the episode like, I wonder if I can see these two arguing or these two becoming best friends or this situation. You know how you start to like read into people real quickly. So whatever. Let's get back on topic. Um, who was I on? Okay. Charlie Hyde's Charlie Hyde's did this pilgrim look and no, the, it, when she did the reveal, it was way too much. It didn't come off and it wasn't anything underneath it. That was like, Oh my God, you know what I, you know what I mean? If it had been like a quick, whoop, Probably would have been a better look, but that didn't happen. So, but Charlie still looked good, though. Um, Pheromone gave clothes. I said, this thing came into the workroom butt naked. Not really, but she came into the workroom very, very revealing, very sexy. And then when she does her Vegas look, it's this long, I don't know. It was like, it was like Vegas in winter. I don't know. I, I I didn't care for it. I thought it was okay. It was beautiful. Her face was yuck. But I don't know. That look was all right. It was all right. I'm sorry. Um, let's see here. Do 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 do. do. We have okay. Um, what was that? Pheromone. Yeah, we did that. Okay, Sasha Valora gave you New York art pop queen. New York art pop queen. Yeah, pretty much. And her face was beat for filth. All right. Um. I did think that she had too many props, so I do agree with what the judges said with that. There only needed to be one thing, and I don't think the poster was necessary. Maybe if the poster was, like, hanging off of her back or something like that as she turned with that look, almost to give, like, it's a wall or something like that, and then she was holding the heart. I mean, I would have got that. But it it was like, okay, things. (laughs) But it was still a good look. It was still a very good look. I just, I was like, "Mm, we didn't need all that. Alexis Michelle did this cape reveal bathing suit new york city thing i thought it was okay i said no nah, she could do better than that but it was okay shea kool-aid gave you hot dog on a st- <laughs> hot dog on a stick 
that comment she said um, when she said is nothing better than like a big wiener sandwich between two buns. Oh, love me some Shea Kool-Aid. And then she took a Mystique Summers reference and said, bitch, I'm from Chicago. I said, come on, Shay, you are playing to what it is. You need to go ahead and get those people reeled into you and keep you around for much longer. I love me some Shea Kool-Aid. Can you tell? That's like one of my favorites this season. Um, Trendy Taylor gave you... Okay. I don't know how many people will get this reference, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. Now, I will not take away that Trini Taylor's hair and face was whopped to the gods for the first look. But that outfit gave me star shots. If, ooh, mall, $15 special background realness. Yep. It gave me, ooh, bae, we got to take pictures with the kids. Or, ooh, we in eighth grade and I want to get pictures so we look cute. Can we get the most faded type of... um? filter so that no flaws can be shown and can we have this airbrush background in the back like it's all mm -mm, nope star shots down i was like nah girl that's all right it was cute but no mm -mm, mm -mm. i didn't like it i thought it was okay i thought everything else about her was great but that was mm, that was okay nah no uh kimura black she looked good i didn't get the outfit but that speech (laughs) one more time She looked good. I didn't get the outfit, but that speech. It was like me, 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 me. I said, oh, no. Please, no, 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 no. I like you, Kimora. Don't do that, girl. Like, I saw Michelle's face twitch, and I was like, ooh, rub the wrong way. Girl, watch out for that, Kimora. You are gorgeous and stunning, let me tell you, but that speech was not necessary. Just like... Oz is saying who the designer was for that kimono that was never worn for that particular challenge, which we assumed, like, I'm assuming I'm going to see this, um, how skinny I am, how beautiful I am, how this night. I was like, mm please stop, because we don't like that. That's, you are all of those things, but you don't need to tell us, because we already know. James Mansfield, okay, girl, I don't know. It was forgettable. I, 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 I think the quirky thing is cute, but I'm just not getting... She's going to go far. I need her to get out of her shell. I don't know what's going on. Again, we haven't actually seen her speak a lot. You know what I mean? Like, we haven't gotten a moment to understand who Miss James Mansfield is, but we're still waiting on that to come out. Now, Miss Nina Bonina Banana Ofana Osama Bin Laden Brown, baby. Let me tell you something. Nina has put her foot in this competition. A lot of girls I have seen online... Say she is mean and nasty and this and that and the other. I haven't had that reaction. I believe... I. Because I was um, on her Instagram and she was doing a live video and I was telling her good luck on the race. And she said, thank you, Maddie. I said, see, that was nice. She responded and it wasn't something cordial and cute. It wasn't something rude. Now, why do you need to be saying all these nasty things to this lady? But anywho, she came to play. And Nina slayed with that. I call it Princess Peach. Literally. <laughs> like, you can't forget the literally part. So, like, literally this girl took some fucking... A peach out of some, what is it, like poster board? And then painted the face to the exact brim of the color of that to make it look like her head was a giant peach with a tutu and some cute heels and accessories and pumped it out. And I was like, you know what? I like the look. I thought it was everything clever, cool in there. Miss Thing, I like me some Nina, Nina Bonita Brown, baby, is the force to be reckoned with. I hope Nina goes far. Please, 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 please. I have certain queens where I'm like, oh, please don't let them go home too soon. Like last season. Okay. So that was just the hometown looks. Okay. Wasn't that like a good amount of stuff? Now, we, we can quickly go over Gaga here. You know, Peppermint did the Davey, David Bowie inspired look. Um, but that lace front was clockable, girl. It was clockable. But it looked, you look good, Peppermint. It just, that was, oof, that was, oof, shit. Uh, Valentina did the CFDA awards look. It was boring. They said it was everything, but I thought it was boring. It was pretty. It was just boring. I was like, oh, it's okay. But she can walk. I, them legs. I said, okay. Typewriter legs. Come on now. Cha-ching. <laughs> Eureka gave telephone. Eureka is giving you snatch big girl, and I love that about her, but I need to see some different hair than these updos. I really hope I'm not going to get an updo every time I see her. I need to see some volume and some length. That updo with the uh, bald side part? Mm-mm. Nope. 
that's cute every now and then, but not for the every time you put on a look. So I hope I see more of that from her. But other than that, the look was polished and it was great. Charlie Hyde's gave you Brit Awards. It was beautiful. Um, it also gave me Marie Antoinette as well, but that's another story. It was still a really great look from Charlie Hyde's. Uh, Pheromone did Alejandro Nun Latex outfit. Again, a whole lot of clothes. I was like, girl, what? Is she trying to trick me or is this just the stuff she wanted to bring out the first episode to see what was good because she found out she wasn't going to go home? I, I don't know. I want to see more from Pheromone. I'm not saying anything that she did was awful. It just was okay. And I want to see more from Pheromone. Sorry about it. I'm, I like, I like Pheromone and her, you know, slightly whiny self, which is not a bad thing. It's just kind of like how Shea Kool-Aid put it. You guys, oh my gosh. I love it from her that it's her. It's Farrah. So Pheromone, bring us more. I want to see more. Um, where do we go? Okay. Sasha Velour did the applause video living art thing. I thought that was a really good look. Um, it was not completely literal, but right on the money. And I thought the makeup was good too. It wasn't, but it wasn't done feminized. It was just done like regular makeup, like, you know, white paint art done that way. So I got the concept, but I wish it almost, I don't know, something different with that face. I don't know why, but I thought it was a good look. Um, Alexis Michelle did the Golden Globes. Now to me, I was like, okay, cute dress, um, beautiful look. But when she pulled out that little award, sold the whole, whole entire outfit. I was like, done. Very well. Congrats. <laughs> I thought that was really great. Um, let's see here. Okay. Shea Kule did the Monster Ball tour, but it was not like the literal outfit. It was like an interpretation with that same time, but organza look to it and everything sort of giving you that white etherealness. And I, I love that look. I love the wig. I love the makeup and the walk, baby. Um... So I thought that look was everything. Trinity Taylor. Now, I'm going to put my phone down, Trinity. This is where you came in. Now, Miss Trinity, bitch, American Horror Story, Hotel, Lady Gaga, with the blood on the neck and the gloves and the hair was, I said, okay, that's tens, tens, tens across the board. Like, anybody coming for her? No. <laughs> like, one, the pat, like, one. Like, that look was everything. Everything. Let that have been the only runway. You feel what I'm saying? Let that have been the runway challenge that they had to do just Gaga versus anything else, and they were judging that solely. Trinity, in my opinion, would have won that. Let me go over them all. Mm, yep, yep. It was so, po oh, it was polished. I said, oh my God, that was mm, phenomenal. Phenomenal. So I want to see more from that from her and less of them star shot background bullshit that I got from her a hometown outfit. And no shade, Trinity. I'm just saying this thing, like, you could have done something different for Orlando, Florida. And if it was like a theme park, you could have had something nasty, like a roller coaster going, a mini roller coaster going around your body. Didn't even need to have the shit moving, but almost give that real tone. And if it's also Orlando, you could have done some SeaWorld shit. You could have done something with the ocean, beach. I don't know. It could have been something different. But hey, I got what you were going for. But that looks like a lot of other places like Michelle said, so. But not to take away from the fact that she shitted on all of them with her American Horror Story look, okay? Kimora Black, Lady Gaga on the go. Mm, next. Um, James Smith. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was boring. I was like, uh, ex uh, everyone is expecting her to do a runway outfit, but no one expects her to do what she just regularly wears. From like when? 2000 and what? Okay, now, sweetheart. Hold on. Pause. That's what you would regularly wear. I, mm, I said, I, she is beat. And she is bad, but I did not, I'm not a fan of the first two. I'm not a fan of the first two looks. I want more. Because Kamora Black is beat and everything, but I need more. James Mansfield, that campy cover of Vogue um, magazine with Lady for Lady Gaga. Uh, the whole I'm sleepy, uh, hair disheveled. Uh, I was like, next. Like, come on now, you are falling into the background. Um, now, Nina Bonina Brown, now y'all, okay, let me go to Aja first. That outfit was everything. And it made up for her New York outfit, but I did the makeup. It, I don't know if it was rushed. I've seen her with way better makeup before. Maybe it's just the timing, but it was, mm, it was mm, brick. 
Um, Nina Bonina Brown. Y'all, and I think Aja's going to go far, too. I just think that um, it's almost going to be like a Phoenix Rising thing with her. But we'll see. N- back to Nina. Nina Bonina Brown came out in that motherfucking VMA's 2009 uh, outfit. She came out titties popping, hips jutting from left to right. You almost thought they were turn signals. I said, oh, my goodness. I loved it. Everything about it. I said, go ahead. I said, Nina came with it. For the first two looks, y'all, get with it. And sure enough, top three was named for Eureka, Sasha, and Nina. Mm-hmm. And Nina Bonina Brown won the first episode. Get get you some and want a trip somewhere. Come on now. I was like, go ahead. I, again, I'm happy. That was one that I assumed that we would already write off. And I thought that I would be one of the few people that would like her like I did for Vivacious. I like Vivacious. I said, I wish they had let her be on the show a little bit longer so we could have seen more looks. But Nina slayed. And she already showed out. So let's see what she does for the remainder of the competition. I'm very motherfucking excited. But guess what, children? We have a 14th contestant. Bum, 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 bum. That was a twist. Now, it was said that another queen does return back to the season. And we... Weren't sure who, but it was rumored that it was going to be Cynthia Lee Fontaine. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I agree with that statement because whenever the end of the episode, yes, spoiler alert, they show a queen walking up the steps. And if I say that style was all, all the way, all the way, Cynthia Lee Fontaine, that little short wop do, that good old, um, <laughs> what do I call the little spit girl? And, um, the the whole look, the the whole entire blue ensemble. She was giving me Cynthia Lee Fontaine. Girl, now if it's Fifi O'Hara, I would gag. But um it's <laughs> I just assumed from that hair from the um All Stars too. It was that same kind of hair. But no, it looks like it's Cynthia Lee Fontaine. I honestly wish it was Trixie Mattel. Yeah, I said, I don't know. I've been watching uh, a lot lately, and it's like one of my favorite YouTube shows. So, Trixie and Katya forever. Um, Anywho, season freaking nine, y'all. Great start. Good runway looks. It looks like it's going to be a competitive cast. I cannot claim who is going to win already. It's very much up in the air. Um, Everybody has kind of their own point of view. Some mistakes here and there, but nothing too major as of yet. So um, we got to see what's going on. A couple of people need to get attitude adjustments. A couple of people need to get their um, A game pulled up here exactly because nobody went home. But I guarantee this next episode is going to be some foolery and fuckery. So you guys, what did you think of this episode? Who are you rooting for? Who did you? Who had the best runway look for you tonight? And who... Um, do you think is going to be a problem on this show? I, and I want to be be honest, but you don't be catty, but be honest. Like, who do you find yourself already being like, mm, I don't know about that person? For me, you know, I don't know where James is going. I hope James Mansfield goes further than what it seems to be. The edit he's getting, it seems that he's going to be leaving very soon. But I hope he goes a lot further because he's kind of kooky and campy. And we need that on the show. I mean, but Eureka's kind of handling that department. But, um... Oh, I just thought about that. And Kimora, I don't, it just was the first impression on the runway didn't leave that high of a, of a remark for when she came into the workroom. When she came in the workroom, it was like, pow. But the pageant, it was like, okay, she's got some work to do. So I'm rooting for all the, qu- oh, and then for Aja. Now, now this is what I'm going to say. Oh, I deleted that. Oops. I'm not reading. I'm not trying to come for this boy at all. And I'm not trying to come for this drag queen. No, 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 no. I think Aja is fierce, okay? Aja, on her, um, seen a couple of her videos online of her lip syncing, everything. But this first episode was not her shining moment. And for the fans, because there's a lot of people claiming she's going to win, y'all, your sis got to get it together. Because I was like, mm, this doesn't seem like this would be top three behavior. But then again, 
it's episode one. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what you, she may get hit by a, a bitch named Epiphany, honey. And <laughs> she comes up and slays it from the remainder of the competition. I don't know. Again, first episode, but a great first episode indeed. So you guys, thank you again for joining me. I can't believe I got through all of this without wincing like from immediate pain, but ugh, I did my best. <laughs> Please like, please subscribe, please share, please tell your friends. Bring it in, bring it in, because we're going to be talking each and every Friday about RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. Oh, and guess what else, everybody? As a special treat for you, I'll also be doing separate untucked videos. Bum, bum, bum. That's right. Saturdays, too. I'm like, Matt, you sound like a cartoon, but we'll keep going. Saturdays, I also will be posting my thoughts on the Untucked episode in the morning. Almost like, let's wake up and have breakfast and talk about Untucked. Okay? So tomorrow, catch me in the morning. Uh, bright and early. I won't make it too early because I know some of y'all like to be out on Friday nights. Okay? But uh, we'll definitely have a good old time talking about Untucked and possibly getting to know these queens a little bit better and seeing where they stand. So... Thanks again for joining. Thanks again for tuning in. You got the instructions. You see the links. You know where to click. Have yourselves a good night, everybody. RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9 on BH1, 8, 7 Central, and Matthew here with Matthew's Rants, Raves, and Reviews on YouTube.